Hey everybody, me again, Channel Practical Paracord, and today is slinging tips while I'm slinging at targets. Aha, it's gonna be a good show. All right, all right, y'all. I'm gonna start this thing off by showing off what I'm working with today. You know what I'm saying? I went a little, a little extravagant, but. No, always gotta look good while you slant. You know, all these for sale. Practicalparacord.com. But first tip that I'm gonna give y'all today is warm up. You always gotta warm up. You know, always recommend that. Always. You know, cause slinging is a lot like baseball. If you're a baseball player, you're gonna like slinging, cause you know all the rules and regulations. When you go play, when your baseball practice starts, what's the first thing y'all do? You warm up. You don't worry about where you're throwing, how fast you're throwing. You just loosen everything up. So that's tip one of the day. Warm up. No rock. Just throw it. And what you're looking for is a smooth flow. You don't want it to bunch up on you. You just want to just go, you know, just roll with it. And if you're throwing overhand, you always want to realize that your sling is going to open up like this. You know, if you're doing it like that, Think about it when you're throwing it. You know, think about the not going over. You know, it's gonna go smooth every time. Cause if not, if you've been slinging for a minute and everything is twisted up, when you get everything right here, you got twist in it. So as soon as you let it go, it starts twisting. And when you throw, your throw gets thrown off. But anyway, so warm up and make sure your sling isn't twisted. That's the that's two tips I'm going to throw at y'all. My third tip that I want to say is, just like pitching, when you're on the mound pitching and everything and you just, you just can't get right, you keep missing, ball, 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 ball. What's the number one mistake? Anybody? Anybody? You're gripping the ball too tight. You always want to lose grip on the ball when you throw. You don't want to grip it too tight because you're nervous. So you got to be loose. So that's that's tip number three. Tip number three is is always stay relaxed. The <laughs> uh, nine the nine. <laughs> all right, all right. So so far we got warm up. Make sure you're nice and loose. You know, make sure your sling isn't twisted. You know, make sure it's it's straight. Because you don't need no extra twist. You don't need no extra twist. All right, number four, don't get tense. Loosen up when you throw. If you're throwing back to back, you can't hit the target, you get tensed up. And I'm going to tell you right now, every time you do that, you're going to miss the target by this much. I don't care if the target's this big or this big. So that's tip number four for y'all is imagine the target smaller than it really is. Because ah, I don't know why, I really don't know why, but every time I'm slinging, look at all my videos. No matter the size of the target, I miss it by this much every time. So what you do is you think about a dot in the middle of the target. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what we need to do. Tip number four, think of a dot in the middle of the target. Keep it rolling, baby. All right, all right. Tip number five. Tip number five is about spinning, spinning the uh, sling over your head before you sling it. A lot of people has just started slinging. They'll tell you spinning around your head does not increase speed or accuracy, which I beg to differ to a certain point, to a certain point, because spinning it, it does, if you can throw it far, how can it hurt to get the rock already going that much further? Now, if you don't know how to sling, spinning does not help you out at all. If you do not know how to put slinging and spinning together, don't spin. So, tip number five, 
Don't spin unless you know how to slam. Bam! All right, all right, all right. I want to thank everybody for watching. You know, that's my five tips, which were, I'll do a little quick recap. First, warm up, you know, no ball, no rock, no nothing. Just throw a few times, get the, you know, you know, you feel it. Get smooth, get smooth. All right, number two, let's make sure there's no twist. And when you throw, you know, you gotta, it keeps twisting up, so you gotta make sure there's no twist, you know. Number three, was relax. You gotta relax, you know. Loosen up on your, loosen up on your knot right here. You throw it and keep going. You throw, you throw it off. Loosen up. Well, you know it. All right, all right. And tip number five. Well, number four. Tip number four was thinking of a little dot in the middle of the target. If the target's this big. Think of it this big. And there's a way better chance you're gonna hit it. Number five was if you don't know how to sling, you got no business spinning it over your head. And that's my that's my spew today. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Always hit that little notification bell. Hey, I know that you gon' like it for sure. Make sure that you tune in to Practical Paracord. Let's go.